Have you ever had the experience of sleeping well and then waking up in the middle of the night to wonder what's going on? Why are so many people flocking to these bunkers? The sky is thousands of times louder than ordinary thunder. The city is being overrun by loud sirens. You have no notion why the earth begins to shake. Your greatest dread is about to become a reality. When you turn on the television, you learn that the planet has been hit by an asteroid. Is this the end of the world as we know it? Suddenly, you wake up from this horrible dream. But if we think deeply, these monsters inherit the capability to outweigh all our technological and scientific achievements. Humans can never compete with the baffling amount of energy embodied in them, so it is not incorrect to say that we as humans are way behind in technology to stop an asteroid that is on its way to collide with Earth. So naturally, we might want to look into and raise an essential question. What is NASA and other space organizations doing to prevent an asteroid from destroying the whole of human and animal life as we know it? Do they have any defensive plan against them? Do we as humans even stand against these forces of colossal magnitude? In this video, let's take a sneak peek at NASA's top-secret cosmic program to annihilate asteroids. Before we get into the details of the latest NASA mission, it is important to know about some of the rocks, such as comets and asteroids, lurking in the icy depths of space, and how much damage can they really do. Meet the 27 billion kg heavy asteroid 99,942, infamously dubbed Asteroid Apophis. This ginormous asteroid is expected to pass by Earth in a dangerously close approach of 31,600 kilometers or 19,600 miles in 2029. For comparison, this is so critically close to the Earth's surface that the asteroid's orbit would cross us closer than even the communication satellites. This gives it a probability of 2.7% of an asteroid impact. In terms of astronomy, this is a crazy huge number. Next up on the list is 29,075-1950 DA. This reckless heavenly body once had the highest known probability of impacting Earth. If it hits the Earth, we'd better find a new home or face the most brutal and some of the most exterminating disasters. But these are merely just two small examples. There are millions of rocks lurking in space waiting to be noticed. Are we really able to track all the near-Earth asteroids that have the potential of hitting the Earth? It should be noted that it is nearly impossible to detect extremely small asteroids. Finding such asteroids is not only hard but also not worth it. The kind of asteroid that would wipe out humanity would be massive. It may even be the size of an entire state in the United States. NASA has a body dedicated just for this. It is called the Planetary Defense Coordination Office, or PDCO. They discover a plethora of asteroids in the sky every night. With the help of powerful telescopes at their disposal, they are able to estimate their size, mass, and level of hazard. It is important that they do their job right, since the future of mankind is highly dependent on their ability. When a new asteroid is discovered, it undergoes a thorough examination to ensure that it will not hurt humanity. PDCO and its partners, such as the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, can detect things like size and form using radar technology. It also determines if this new asteroid is circling a bigger, more deadly object on its own. Their work is essentially a four-step process. It includes finding the asteroid, investigating its composition and matter, mapping it in the night sky, and finally projecting its future orbit to identify whether the asteroid is dangerous for us or not. Apart from the dinosaur event, there haven't been any large-scale damages by the asteroids in recent past. The fact is that the only thing we've had on our side so far has been luck. So, what happens if our good fortune runs out? Imagine if your nightmare came true, what would happen? A straightforward answer would be to simply destroy it, right? The fact is that this will cause more destruction than good. Detonating an asteroid could be the worst way to avert death and devastation. To put it simply, assume an asteroid to be a massive watermelon. What happens when a watermelon is shattered? It disintegrates into a slew of smaller pieces. Following this reasoning, if NASA tried to blast an asteroid, it may result in a swarm of smaller but still deadly boulders heading directly for Earth. So what's the backup plan? Scientists believe that it would be a better idea to move an asteroid that was on its way to colliding with the Earth. 
According to NASA, nuclear weapons are way more successful than non-nuclear alternatives in moving asteroids off the collision paths with Earth. This is due to the fact that a nuke's energy density is substantially greater than that of ordinary materials. This offers a nuclear bomb just the right amount of power to knock an asteroid off course. But how does this backup plan, also termed as deflection, really work? The basic principle behind deflection is to take a nuke, launch it in the right direction, and set it off near the surface of an asteroid. This way, it fully destroys a portion of the asteroid's surface area. Following that, this part of the asteroid becomes very hot and expands, causing a pressure wave across the remainder of the asteroid and producing a rocket-like exhaust that propels the asteroid in a new direction. It's a good concept, and it's backed up by science. But what about the previous option, which entails essentially blowing up the asteroid? Does it not sound more fun to you? Although, scientists too like the idea of blowing up the asteroid due to its simplicity and uncomplicated nature. But, according to common logic and prior scientific testing, this would only result in the smaller asteroid fragments we discussed. But a new study is here to question it. New researches have shown that it isn't nearly as hazardous as previously assumed. According to a recent study, the notion of blowing up an asteroid, also known as disruption, might be an effective way to avoid an asteroid from destroying the Earth. Scientists at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory undertook a series of simulations to examine what would happen if a nuclear weapon annihilated an asteroid and the resulting implications. The outcomes weren't too shabby after all. The scientists used a software tool, termed Spheral, to simulate the long-term repercussions of a nuclear explosion on a fictional asteroid. The program followed the definitions pieces and then factored in a variety of factors, including the gravitational impact of other planetary bodies surrounding the imaginary space rock. The simulation was ran numerous times using a projected 1 megaton bomb near the surface of a 328-foot-long asteroid. In the end, the airstrike prevented 99% or more of the incoming mass from colliding with the Earth. In fact, in some calculations, almost 99.9% .9 of the asteroid's mass completely avoided Earth, particularly if a nuclear bomb had been dropped on it months before. The scenario became less optimistic as the asteroid became larger. However, they were still remarkable, with 99% of the entire mass passing straight past Earth on a regular basis. These studies just shows that trying to blow up an asteroid rather than just averting it isn't a horrible idea altogether, particularly if done months ahead of time and on smaller asteroids. However, the experiment's lead scientist has also mentioned that exploding an asteroid also carries its own set of dangers. It's likely that by generating several pieces instead of a single impactor, will increase the danger rather than reducing it. A disruption, on the other hand, has its own benefits, and a disruption may succeed where a deflection may fail. This is all part of the evaluation process of evaluating pros against the cons for which approach to utilize. The most shocking aspect of these new tests is that they show that disrupting an asteroid might actually be the greatest way to halt it with little warning. The second method of diverting the asteroid from its current path would necessitate making contact with the rock long before it collides with the Earth. Even if the comet or asteroid isn't seen right away, the disruption might work. The fact is that NASA and other space agencies will have a variety of alternatives for stopping an asteroid from colliding with Earth, and they're already ready to put them to the ultimate real-world test. NASA's DART mission was launched on November 24, 2021. On October 2, 2022, a spaceship will have traveled a tremendous distance to the dimorphous asteroid, Didymos, as part of the expedition. When the spacecraft reaches Didymos, it will crash into the rock in an attempt to change the asteroid's speed and course. If this test is successful, it will tell NASA a lot about what can and cannot be done to prevent a life-ending, planet-destroying asteroid from colliding with our planet's surface. It just goes to illustrate how seriously NASA views this problem. They're finally putting their knowledge and experience of some of the most intelligent minds to the test to discover whether their ideas can genuinely save the Earth. Movies gets a lot of things wrong when it comes to asteroids. This is due to the drama and emotion that has to be added for our entertainment. However, the films did get one thing right. Asteroids are really no laughing matter, and they have the potential to wreak havoc on the planet. Thankfully, the science underlying safeguarding humans against asteroids is improving and progressing in some significant ways. Due to the latest models and scientific estimates, we now have several possibilities for rescuing the Earth and everyone who lives on it.
while we should be watchful and keep a close eye on the sky, we may rest easy knowing that our defense against space threats is improving. Let's hope our telescopes point in the proper direction and at the appropriate time so we can be ready when they appear. What are your thoughts about it? What is the greatest strategy to rescue mankind in your opinion? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I hope you really liked it. Consider subscribing to the channel if you liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.